Hello friends, welcome to your Intermediate Power Flow Yoga class. We start sitting on our knees, finding our breath, and then inhale, raise the arms up, interlace the fingers, pressing palms up to the sky. And exhale, bend to the right, taking a side body stretch. Beautiful. And coming through center to slowly bend to the left, taking your gaze wherever feels good. Coming back through center to release the hands and interlace them behind the back, opening through the chest. Inhale and exhale, fold forward, taking the hands overhead, melting the chest down to the thighs, opening up through the shoulders. One big deep breath. And then gently release the hands behind, tuck the toes underneath, reaching for the heels, rabbit pose. Pressing against the feet to really open up through the upper back. One more moment here. And then exhale, gently release, untuck the feet, take the hands by the head, child's pose. One breath here. Then reach the hands forward, press through the palms to lift yourself into upward facing dog or cobra pose. Big inhale. Feeling the spine awaken. And exhale, pressing up onto the knees, rounding the back through cat. Taking rounds of cat cow, moving at your own pace with your own breath. Making them as traditional or as organic and fluid and creative as you'd like. Releasing back to tabletop to walk the hands forward, melting the heart down, puppy pose. Releasing tension in the shoulders, breathing deeply. On your next exhale, press up through the hands, making your way into plank pose. Nice and strong, connect to the core and take the knee to each elbow about four times. Really round through the shoulders, suck the navel into the spine. Even out both sides. And then release down onto the forearms coming into dolphin, maybe walking the forearms back or the feet up. Reaching the hips up high, pressing through the hands to open up through the shoulders. Lengthening through the legs, reaching the heels down. And then maybe finding some play, reaching the heels up, working through the bottoms of the feet. We can come into pincha if that's in our practice, or we can play with kicking one leg up at a time, wherever we are honoring our journey and exploring. Finding ourselves back in static dolphin pose and then lifting up onto the hands coming into downward facing dog. Pedaling out through the feet, making our way there, our first downward facing dog. Finding our static downward facing dog and then rolling to high plank and upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Gazing at the hands, make your way to the top of the mat and forward fold. Lifting up halfway, big inhale, finding length in the spine and exhale to fold. Inhale, reach the arms up high, root to rise, grabbing opposite elbows, opening through the chest and the collarbones. Exhale, hands come behind back as we spread even more through the chest. Big inhale and exhale, bend the knees, dip forward, forward fold, hands come over the head, 
Our knees are bent here. Take deep breaths. Come into the body. Release the hands in front of the feet. Bending the right leg, reaching the left arm overhead to revolve. Exhale to switch sides, freeing the mind, coming into the physical body. Forward fold. Jump or step back into chaturanga and take a vinyasa. We meet in downward facing dog at your own pace. Inhale, right leg comes high behind us. And we exhale, stack the hips, open to the side, peeking under the shoulder, preparing for wild thing to flip the dog. Bending the left knee, reaching that right foot behind, it finds the mat as we press open and open the chest. Our right arm sweeps around, finding this beautiful back bend. Coming into our side plank, nice and strong, reach the knee up and then straighten the leg. Try to find the big toe with peace fingers and slowly controlled bring it down to the mat. Straightening the leg, finding length in the spine and folding over the hamstrings. Option to flex the foot back at you to make this a deeper stretch in the back of the leg. Taking a few more deep cleansing breaths. Letting the thoughts go, letting them float away. Planting the hands, sweeping that leg back, three-legged dog. Bend the knee and tap the right elbow, send it back. Tap the left, send it back. Inhale, sweep the knee in to warrior one, reach up nice and strong. Exhale to warrior two, sinking into the hips. Inhale, reach forward and back, peaceful warrior. Hands interlace behind the back as we reach the chest forward, humble warrior. Deep breath and lift the chest back up, pivoting on that back foot, high lunge. Exhale, sweep the arms behind you, inhale, raise them up high. One more like this, preparing to come into warrior three. Whenever you have your balance, try to lift off, squaring the hips, using your drishti focus point. Exhale to plant the left foot behind you and sweep over to the back of the mat, framing the left foot to come into plank pose. Vinyasa. We meet in downward facing dog where we repeat on the other side. Three legged dog, left leg comes up and we stack the hips and open. Breathing deeply into the belly, filling the lungs with air as we open the hips. One more breath as we prepare for wild thing. Gently tap the foot down and reach the arm up, opening through the chest and the back. And release, coming into our side plank, reaching the left hand and knee up high to the sky extending the leg long and reaching for the big toe. Moving slowly to place it on the mat and extend coming into our pyramid pose. Taking a few deep breaths here. Really notice the lower body and the physical sensations. Still moving with the breath, finding length on the inhales and folding on the exhales. Planting the hands, sweep left leg back 
and then tap each elbow. Nice and strong and controlled. Inhale to warrior one. And exhale to warrior two. Reach forward, flip the palm, and reach back. Big side body stretch. Coming into our humble warrior, taking the chest by the knee. One deep breath in through the nose and out through the nose. And on your next inhale, using the hands to reach the chest back up, pivot on that back foot, high lunge. Exhale, sweep the arms behind. Preparing for our warrior three. Lifting off whenever you feel ready to stabilize and balance. Noticing any shakes or wobbles and inviting them in, knowing that that means growth. Stepping back, turning to face the side of the mat and releasing into goddess pose. Toes point to the corners, sinking deep into the hips, taking the feet in a little bit closer so we can come up onto the balls of the feet, still squeezing, active in the core, Beautiful, you're nice and strong here. Feel your strength, your power. And exhale, straighten the legs, forward fold. Reaching for the ankles, trying to pull the head through underneath the legs. Nice deep breaths here. And if headstand is in our practice, we will be preparing for that next. Or we can play with headstand prep, keeping our knees tucked in, whatever step we're at in this journey. Releasing the hands in front of the chest, interlacing them, placing the crown on top of the mat, and trying to lift off. Connecting to the core, Moving slowly with control. Not judging yourself if you're not there yet. There is no competition. And whenever you're ready, you can release to the knees, lift the head, and come onto the sit bones. Finding a seat crossed at the ankles. And we're going to begin our cool down with some deep hip stretches. Coming into cow face pose, stacking the right knee on top of the left. Inhale, reaching the arms up high. And exhale, taking a slight forward fold. Still rooting down through the sit bones. One more deep breath. And then lifting the chest back up, unraveling the arms, coming into fire log pose taking that right ankle, stacking it over the left knee, and then gently walking the fingertips forward. Getting a deep glute stretch, breathing nice and deep. Taking a moment to notice how you're feeling. Then slowly lift up, press the hands back, and come into cow face pose on the other side. I like to take that little twist behind me. It's kind of fun, <laughs> creative, and it gets the other leg right on top. Inhale, scooping the arms underneath, holding the hands up high as we start to send the chest forward towards the legs. Cooling down, slowing down our breath. Releasing the hands, coming into our fire log pose. On your inhale, think of something you want to mentally let go of or find some physical tension in your body and exhale it all out. 
release. Gently walking the fingertips back up, releasing the legs, finding reverse tabletop. Feet are hip width apart as we send the pelvis up to the sky, squeezing through the glutes and extending both legs long for reverse plank pose. Hold here and then we'll dip the hips down, tap the mat and again staying nice and active in the core, in the legs. You got this. Just a few more. Feel yourself getting stronger. One more. Releasing down into staff pose. Flexing the feet. Moving slowly, carefully, reaching up through the crown of the head. Just being in this moment. We can walk the fingertips towards the feet. Still active in the quadriceps. Sending energy out through the heels. Breathing. On your next inhale, lifting the chest and crossing the right leg over the left to find a nice gentle twist. Breathing nice and deep, just feeling this ringing out of the spine. When you're ready, we can release and come to the other side. Not forcing anything just observing the body and the mind. On your next exhale, gently release the leg, coming up onto the sit bones for boat pose. Shins are parallel to the mat, hands at heart center, pressing the palms together, sucking the navel into the spine, Pulling your chest as close to your legs as you can. You're so strong. Maybe we extend the legs. Challenge ourselves a bit. Before gently releasing down to the mat. Soles of the feet are hip width apart. We come into bridge pose. Exhale, send the pelvis up to the sky. Squeezing through the glutes, maybe interlacing the hands underneath to lift a little bit higher. Really ground through the left foot and gently pick up the right knee as high as you can into the chest. Then extend the leg long, still squeezing everything. And bending the knee before placing it back to repeat on the other side. Take one breath to reset before lifting the left knee and extending the leg, gaining so much strength. We're feeling good, releasing back to the mat. And we can take the hands out from underneath if we have them laced. Take the knees up into the air and find a little rock or maybe some hip circles, whatever feels good to you right now. Pressing the lower back into the mat, feeling grounded and connected. Opening the hips one more time. We're gonna release the knees and take the soles of the feet together pulling them into the chest and sending the knees outwards. Breathing nice and deep. We can stay here or we can come into happy baby. Listening to your own body, making this your own practice. Maybe the legs extend long 
whatever feels good to you. Listen to your own inner guide. Your intuition is always there. And whenever you're ready, you can gently release to reclined bound angle. The hands can come over the head to really allow this deep surrender. Coming into our final resting pose where we again bring our awareness back to the breath if our mind has wandered. And we notice how we feel after this practice. Maybe something came up for us today that we noticed, or maybe we didn't. Either way, we just find a few moments to be still, to sit with ourselves in silence. And this is where I leave you, my friends. Namaste.